Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another installment in our Origins Survival Avian series. And at the end of last episode, I believe that we left off with me wanting to do a bunch of work off camera. And I have done that to a certain degree, um, but I'm going to kind of walk through a bunch of that as we pick up all of these rails from uh, moving our villagers over here because we don't currently need them to be in place and this will give us an opportunity uh, to talk a little bit about what I've uh, been trying to do. So the first thing that I did um, is I went into the nether and I figured that the place that we had spawned in at was decently close enough to um, the bottom of the world or at least where the lava ocean is. So we tunneled down and got a bunch of ancient debris. Um, I've got enough to fully outfit my armor at the very least. Haven't smelted it up yet because I feel like, uh, you know, proving that with the physical evidence would be a little bit better. So we will do that here in just a moment. Um, but then I also foolishly used up like all of my gold trying to get some ender pearl trades. I used like basically the entire stack that I had and didn't get any ender pearls uh, from any of the piglins. So that was not great. Um, so I then resorted to killing a couple of these, uh, of the endermen in the warped forest that our portals naturally spawned in. And that seemed to be quite a bit better for us. So let me just get inside here. I don't recall if I have any cobblestone on me. I don't. Um, but that worked a lot better for us um, than trading the piglins dead. And as you've noticed, I finally got enough bookshelves to set up an enchanting uh, area. And since I don't have space for that in my own house, and not really keen on digging out a basement, we went ahead and set that up in the villager breeding hall where we no, no longer have a need to breed up villagers due to having all of them safely stashed away over there in our shopping area uh, or our vending area and unfortunately i'm not getting any of the uh, trades that i'm really wanting apart from the ones that we have of efficiency five mending and unbreaking two which we then combine together to get unbreaking three but uh, that's the other reason that you would have an enchanting station for uh, other enchantments that you can't get. And that makes things a little bit nicer. So uh, as you'll see here, there is the 16 ancient debris that we have. And uh, there is my rather depleted gold reserve. So we'll probably go back into the nether and harvest up a little bit of that nether gold ore since our pick is quite efficient at burning through that as well. Uh, we also have a ton, and I mean a ton, of quartz, uh, mainly because that's what I have been mainly focusing on to fiend levels from, uh, or for getting enchantments and other things. And I think that these endermen that are hanging out around here are guys that I uh, accidentally baited in through the nether. Actually, that guy looks like it probably wasn't, but if we... Take a quick peek at this other guy. He's not holding anything either. But um, I would have thought that uh, those were guys that accidentally came through the portal because uh, my path for fighting them took them right past the portal. And if they clip into the portal frame, then they'll just come here to the overworld. But they do de-aggro uh, upon coming through into the overworld as well. So that's something that's a little bit interesting. If you're in a pinch, just... Uh, see if you can bait them through your portal and that should help you a little bit seeing how the minimum height is uh, Three blocks and that's the height that endermen can uh, Walk through things, but yeah, as you'll see there's just a bunch of quartz and actually looks like we've got a couple pieces of gold Here and we'll just stash up uh, Those arrows that we traded with or got from our trades from the wandering trader there and then we'll see if we can't find a little bit more of that gold ore. Because I know that there's a bunch of it somewhere 
or somewhat close to where we've been working, mainly because I've been um, focusing on quartz more so. And this would be a lot nicer with either Silk Touch or uh, Fortune, but I, uh, like I said, haven't been able to get really either of those because of the uh, minor issues we've had sorting through the uh, trades that we would like. But yeah, I've just been uh, with this tiny little hole right here that I would run away into to retreat from the Endermen and uh, tack into them a little bit more freely to get the 16 pearls that we need to hunt down the stronghold, which uh, as soon as we at least have our armor put together, we're going to go and find the stronghold. We will not be raiding the end today, but we are at least going to find our way there, mainly because I would like to raid a bookshelf uh, or a library so I can get some extra books for either enchanting or for um, making additional bookshelves, which we shouldn't need at this point now that we've got our library completely outfitted. I'll probably want to make at least one more to uh, even things out. Uh, with the bookshelf array that we saw, or that you saw there. And apart from that, I don't think that there's anything else that I would really need it for. There's no way. <laughs> I went all that way to try and track down another fortress, and there was one right here. This actually might be the one that we were working out of, just the outer extremity of it, but... Wow. Wow. It was that close to us. I mean, I, our portal's literally just back this way. All right, well, that's at least enough gold for us to make the uh, netherite ingots that we need. And then we'll just place down our smithing table right here next to our other workable items and give ourselves that little upgrade as soon as we've got these things smelted down, which shouldn't be too much longer here. Let's sleep the night away while we wait for those to finish up. And just like that, we've got ourselves the netherite gear. And if we move some things around here before getting out of the inventory, we can celebrate that noise of accomplishment with equipping the netherite to ourselves. And that does feel pretty good to have that uh, on ourselves. And it'll make sure that things go uh, quite a bit smoother as we continue throughout here. It's the only other thing that I need to do at this point is grab a couple of these and pair those with our eyes or our pearls, which there they were. They were in the exact same chest. Why did I put them somewhere else? There we are. There's our eyes of Ender and we've got a couple of extra pearls just in case. I'm not expecting to need that many more than 12, but we are going to uh, start out our journey and it uh, looks like there's an unfortunate raid going on down that way. So hopefully it doesn't take us out in this direction when we give it a throw. But speaking of throws, let's go ahead and do it. I think that this is the best way and of course it goes out in the direction of that raiding party. And the pearl broke as well. But we're going to uh, head out in this general direction and see if we can't uh, run into that stronghold where, wherever it is that it ends up taking us. All right, uh, our journey's brought us atop a very large gravel mountain. So let's go ahead and throw our eye again and it still wants us going out this way and of course the eye breaks again but our journey will continue in this direction until indicated otherwise so we'll catch up on the next eye throw i suppose this forest biome has gone on for a little bit so we're going to go ahead and throw another pearl and wow we are really heading in that direction aren't we fortunately we can recollect that eye and keep moving out in this direction as well. And it keeps going up, so that must mean that it's decently far 
from where we're currently at. And I'm realizing my oversight is I should have brought a bed or something to pass the night. But we will uh, soldier on because it's a little bit too late to turn around here. I don't have to worry about, you know, taking fall damage or other things though. So that will reduce the amount of uh, damage I need to be concerned about. You know, we're going to check out this ruined portal real quick. Just on the off chance that there's like a golden carrot or a golden apple or even an enchanted golden apple in one of them because I have found them in there before. And nothing really worth my time. Except for the water protection armor, which I uh, forget is a perk in this game where there are a couple of uh, classes that take damage in water, such as the Blazeborn and the and Darian. I think that this treetop would be a good place to kind of wait out the night, so I am going to let the uh, moon tick over to the other end of the sky there, and then as soon as it does reach that area and we have more uh, nighttime, actually no, everything's moving this way. So we're going to let the moon reach this point where everything starts to brighten back up. We'll throw another pearl from up here, and, uh, and by pearl I mean I from up here, and we'll see where that ends up getting or taking us. All right, here we are. The uh, night is fading out. The sun's starting to come in over the horizon. Let's at least get a throw with this pearl, and it's uh, broken, but we've passed the area where uh, where the stronghold is. So uh, that is good that we don't have to trek too much further away. Looks like we've got to head right for where that uh, zombie that's kitted out in the gold armor is located. So let's just get our ax on standby. Okay, let's check again from the top of this tree. And it looks like it's probably back in that clearing I was in a while back. So we're gonna cross back over this little river. We'll go right over here to this plateau. Crazy that it could be right here next to this ruined portal that I stopped at uh, before the night fell. So we'll just get up on the other side of this small stream, get up to the flat where we can see where the pearl ends up going and determine from there where it is we need to be. Oh gosh, this floaty jump does uh, throw off some of my traversal because uh, I spend a lot more time in the air. So it's definitely like right around here. So let's come up to this little flat spot. Let's throw from the top of that peak there. Okay. Is it going to be like right here then? Okay, let's just throw from this spot here. Yep. It's going to be like right here. So we're going to start digging. And I realize I don't have a shovel, but I'm hoping I really won't need one. Well, there's the, the stronghold blocks right there. So we'll just grab this little bit of iron here. And I saw that there was a little bit more down this way. 
didn't know it was literally a little bit more. Oh, there's more of it all over the place here. And if we can make this little jump here, we will be in. Now it's just a matter of finding that room. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, boy. Okay, that's not particularly good. I'm starting to wonder if I got unlucky and found a stronghold that doesn't have a portal. Because those do happen. But I've personally never had it happen to me. Well, there it is. <laughs> and of course we have a really, really bad uh, ratio with the eyes that we have compared to the eyes that we need. But we've brought along extra blaze rods, so we'll be fine. Oh, no. Nope, nope, nope. Well, we know where the stronghold is. I know that all of my stuff is there and that none of it's in the lava. So um, we're gonna make our way back here at the start of uh, next week's episode. So I hope you enjoyed and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you in the next one. Take care everyone.